Hey guys, I just wanted to take a couple minutes today and uh, go over my music rig that I've got now that I've gotten my EP completely finished up. Um, I kind of wanted to show everybody what exactly it is that I'm using for all of my equipment, um, especially my guitar rig. I know a lot of people are interested in that. So uh, I thought I'd show you here really quick. So let's go take the tour. All right, so this is the board that I'm currently using. Um, and I'll show you the chain here really quick. Uh, we start down here in the corner, back here. Uh, you can kind of see this little box right back here in the corner. That's a, This one's mine, uh, mini buffer. Um, I just use that to buffer my signal and also give me a really good um, easy access point to connect to the rest of the chain. Um, and from there, that runs right into to here uh, on the bypass strip. Runs through all of these pedals here. Um, the output right here uh, runs over to my boomerang looper, the input here, um, which I love this thing. I'm, I'm slowly getting to use it more. Um, I've used it a couple times live at church and it's pretty sweet. Um, I run an output here and just just a stereo stereo output, or I'm sorry, just a mono output, and I run over to here just to this little box, and it's just kind of a one input, two output box that I run the outputs to my amps. I've got my Vox AC30 here and I've got my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe here. So everything is just running in mono. I haven't, I've thought about messing with stereo, but I haven't yet. Um, just not something I've gotten into. So uh, come down here. So I told you it goes into the bypass strip and then it comes up and the first pedal is the Walrus Audio Deep 6. Um, I really like this pedal. It replaced my diamond compressor uh, just about two weeks ago, right after I was done with the, with the EP. And it's mostly because of this blend knob here. Um, you can turn this off. Uh, or all the way down for just your clean signal, turn it all the way up for all compressed signal, and then you can just kind of mix it in how you like, and so I found 60% works really well. Um, then it moves over to the uh, uh, the Micropog that's been modified by JHS Pedals. Um, this has their Quadrapod mo uh, Quadrapog mod, there we go, um, but it's actually even more than that. Their, their mod, what it is, normally you turn it off and on to engage the pedal, um, it goes where the lights are, or where the knobs are set, and then you actually have these uh, here. So, like this would control the the sub octave, and there's a there's an internal trim pot that you can set to uh, what this octave would go to when this is engaged. Um, so the way I have it set, this would go to 100% all the way on. Same thing over here with the upper octave; it would go all the way on. But since I have it running in a bypass strip, I had them add an extra uh, pot for the dry signal. And so this pedal is now always on. So when it's like this, right now you'd hear a tiny little bit of sub octave and a lot of upper octave. Um, and normally I have this on because this is, uh, they're all set at 100% inside. I'd set them that way. And so you have 100% of the dry signal going through um, with this. But if I turn it off, now I have no dry signal, but everything else goes through. So it's kind of neat. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little mod if you have um, these, these two. Uh, this mod, the Quadrapog mod, I would recommend it to anybody. It really kind of adds some versatility to this pedal. Um, and if you play with it in a bypass strip, I'd highly recommend getting uh, getting an extra pot added to that dry um, as well. Uh, then we come down here to the Screddy Lunar Module. Um, again, I'm a big Pink Floyd fan, and so having all of these uh, Pink Floyd tones available right here, it's just really awesome. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, I don't use it a whole lot, but... Um, but when I do, it's great. So uh, then we move over here to the this one's mine Pearl. Um, I have it running. Uh, we this this instead of being a uh, a switch for the uh, clipping modes, this is an order toggle, um, and I have it going the touch side into the punch side, so low drive into the high drive. Uh, great sounding pedal. Um, uh, I've thought about taking it off my board before, but it, you know I just can't can't remove it. I I can't get uh, over the fact of how good this pedal is, so uh, I really like it. Uh, next, these are the two other new additions to my board. Um, I have the Walrus Audio Mayflower and the Walrus Audio Voyager. Um, this replaced my TS9 uh, Tube Screamer. Um, it just has a, a different, uh, more full sound that I really enjoy, uh, and with the with the bass and treble. Uh, adjustment knobs it really makes it even more versatile um, and then we come over here to the Voyager this replaced the Timmy um, which 
the Timmy, a lot of people use that as just kind of a light coloring drive or like a, a lead boost or stuff like that. And this, um, people think that it kind of colors your your sound a little more. Um, it's It has a little bit of a mid boost to it, which I really, really like. It's something that no other pedal has on my board. Um, and so it's, it's a very interesting sound um, that I like and I use um, frequently. I'll use the Voyager uh, in conjunction with the touch side of the Pearl to get just this really light gain um, overdrive sound. And actually, if you look at my rig here, you'll kind of see that I have, um, I have it kind of staggered order. The, the lunar module is usually really high gain. Then it comes over here to low, then high gain, then kind of a medium gain, I guess, is where I have the set at, and then another low gain here. So I have a very versatile um, order in case I want to stack any drives um, and use them use them in conjunction, which I do very frequently, um, just with different different styles of guitars, single coils, humbuckers, whatnot. Um, just really allows me to be uh, very creative and versatile with my with my usage. Um, and then I come over here. The next pedal in my chain is the uh, Strymon El Capistan. Um, great delay pedal. Um, it's it's again it's another really versatile pedal that I haven't even cracked all the um, all the things that this pedal can do. Um, it goes from there into the timeline, um, which is just a very super souped up uh, souped up delay. Um, tons and tons and tons of um, of delay sounds that you can get out of this. This is my primary delay. Um, if nothing else, for the uh, ability to save presets and banks and everything, I use this very frequently at church, storing all my uh, all my songs for the weekend uh, in the banks and just going right through them. And the El Cap gets used kind of as my soloing uh, delay or to add some extra color for ambient swells. Um, for reverbs, um, I'm using the Boss RV5 um, on modulate setting. That's really the only good sound that I've gotten out of this. Um, but it's, it's a great sound. Um, and then the Strymon Blue Sky, um, uh, the way I have it set right now is not my normal setting, but I'm just trying some, trying some different things out. Um, very, very, very ambient setting, um, is my primary, primary usage of that. And then on the favorite, I have just kind of like a light, a light reverb to color it with. And one of the great things is, uh, I, again, this is another, this one's mine bypass strip down there you can see his see his little signature um, the last four uh, loops on my chain the L cap the timeline the RV5 and the blue sky they all have what he calls trails uh, outputs on them so I can engage the L cap I can play some sounds through it and if I have it decaying for a long time but I need to switch to something else I can shut this off but any any decay that's still coming out of the reverb will still continue to go through it. Um, it's not it's not cut off by the by the um, circuits like the uh, like the rest of these are. And I guess I forgot to mention too, uh, you come through my you come through my chain here, so the compression pog, um, all my drives down through the Voyager, and then right after the Voyager, um, I have a passive loop up here that just goes to my volume pedal that has the uh, tuner running out of it. I have no problem with the Ernie Ball uh, with the Ernie Ball pedal. Uh, volume pedal or the uh, boss tuner. I know some people uh, have their opinions of those, but I've had no issues with them whatsoever. Um, and so those are those are right after my drives and right before my delays and my reverbs. Um, so that, in a really quick nutshell, is the pedal board and the amps uh, that I use for pretty much everything.